So here we are at the end of round 24. I've finished my last loop here, did my single crochet, and now I have to connect it to the beginning single crochet of the round. To do that, I will chain one and do a double crochet in the first single crochet to form our last chain space. So here's the single crochet, I'll do a double crochet into there. And this creates our last chain space. Okay, this is what it looks like. So here we are for round 25, but we're going to begin round 25 with a chain one and then a single crochet into the same chain space we just created, like this. We will begin with chain five, three, four, five, and single crochet in the next chain space here. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet in the next chain four space. One, two, three, four, Five, and single crochet in the next chain four space. Okay, and then chain five, single crochet in the next chain four space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain four space. So all these chain four spaces, we will just chain five, single crochet in these chain four spaces, chain five, single crochet in the next chain four space. So that's the pattern for round 25. So here I am at the end of round 25. I've done my last single crochet and just to connect it, I'm going to chain two do a double crochet in the single crochet for the beginning single crochet of the round. So yarn over once, insert your hook to the single crochet, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And this creates our last chain five space. Okay, like this. So now for round 26, we will chain one, single crochet into the same space we just created. Chain six, two, three, four, five, six, single crochet into the next chain space. And chain six, single chain to the next chain space. Okay, so that's the pattern for round 26. Chain six, single chain in the next chain space, chain six, single chain in the next chain space, all the way around. So here we are at the end of round 26. I've done my last single crochet, and here's the beginning single crochet of the round. To finish it off, I'm going to chain two, one, two, and do a treble crochet into the beginning single crochet of the round. So one, two, yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and this creates our last chain six space. Now for round 27, it's going to be very similar. We're going to chain one single crochet into the same chain space we just created. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet into the next chain space. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet into the next chain space. Chain seven. Okay, so that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here I am at the end of round 27. I have my last chain seven. I did a, I put a knot around the first single crochet just to mark it, which we will deal with later. And now I'm just going to do a slip stitch into the beginning single crochet. Like that. And that completes round 27. For round 28, we're gonna change our color. For round 28, I'm going to be taking my mint color, and I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next chain 7 space, so the first one here. Insert my hook, put the new color on, pull it through, and then pull it through the knot. And that'll change our color. Now I will chain 1, and I will do 3 single crochet into the same loop. 1, 2, 3. And then I will do three single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three. And three single crochet in the next loop. One, two, 
3. So that's the pattern all the way around, three single crochet in each of the chain seven loops all the way around. Here we are at the end of this round. To finish this round, I'm just going to do a slip stitch into the beginning single crochet of the round. And I will connect it. Now for round 29 and 30, we will do the same thing. We will, at the beginning of each round, we will chain one, single crochet into the same stitch we just did our slip stitch into the beginning single crochet, do a single crochet into there, one, and then do a single crochet in the next single crochet all the way around. So we will do a single crochet in each of the single crochet all the way around for rounds 29 and 30. When we get to the end of the round, for round 29, we will slip stitch into the beginning single crochet, and then to begin round 30, same thing, chain one, sing and then single crochet into the same stitch, and then single crochet in each of the next stitches all the way around again. So that's the pattern for round 29 and 30. I will meet you at the end of round 30. So here we are at the end of round 30. This is what my piece looks like. I'm just going to finish off by connecting it. So I've done my last single crochet, and I'm just going to connect it to the beginning single crochet of the round with a slip stitch like that, and that connects our piece. Now for round 31, for round 31 we're going to begin with a chain 1 and we're going to single crochet into the beginning single crochet once again like normal and now we're going to single crochet in the next two single crochets, so 1 and 2. For the second one we're going to start it with the mint and finish it with the white to change our color. Take my white and just pull it through the two loops like that. Okay, so that completes our second single crochet. Now we will do a front post treble crochet around the marked stitch. So this is the marked stitch here. We're going to do a front post treble crochet. So for the front post treble crochet we're going to insert our, our hook from the front to the back around like that. Okay? So around like that. So we are going to take our so we're going to take our yarn, wrap it around three times. One, two, three. Insert your hook around. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. You have two loops on hook. Now we're going to do the same thing, but for the, we're going to skip the next single crochet, skip this one, work on the next single crochet here. Yarn over twice, Into skip this one, work on the next one, around it, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, when you have three loops on hook, you're going to change it to the mint. So yarn over, pull through all three loops with the mint color. And what that's going to do is create this. So we just created a triangle that is directly above here. Okay, we have our front post and our next post. So now we're going to work on our next triangle. So we're going to do a single crochet in the next three single crochet. So our first single crochet, we're going to insert a hook into the first single crochet here and complete a single crochet. At the same time, we're going to take our white that is at the front here and just rest it on our hook so we can bring the yarn along. Yarn over, pull through, two loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two. So one, and then the next one, two, and then the third one, we're going to change our color. So for the third one, we're going to insert a hook, pull loop through, two green loops on hook, rest it aside, take your white, yarn over, pull through two. That'll change your color and also complete our third single crochet. Okay, so you know you're doing it correctly so far. If your loop matches with the next pillar, so we're going to create our next leg, our next triangle. So we're going to do it around the skipped one here and then around the next one here. So we're going to skip this middle one. So yarn over three times. One, two, three. Insert your hook from the into the pillar from the front to the back or around. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on hook, yarn over three times once more, skip the next one, work in the next one, from the front around, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on hook, with our three loops on hook, we're going to take our, t our mint and yarn over, pull through all three loops. That'll complete the triangle and also change our color. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three single crochet, bringing our white yarn with us. So the first one, make sure the white yarn is resting on the hook. The first single crochet. the second single crochet and the third single crochet we're going to start it with the with the bent two loops on hook and finish with the white and that'll complete our last single crochet and also change the color like this and now we are ready for our next triangle for the next triangle we are going to do it in here the one that we skipped and then the next one over here so we're going to skip this one here okay and that's going to create an overlap. One, two, three. Insert your hook into the one that you skipped from the front to the back. Pull loop through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And the next one. One, two, three. Skip the next one here. Work in the next new one here over here. One, two, and three. Three loops on hook. Change it with the green change it with the mint and over pull through all three and then three single crochet making sure you have the you bring the white yarn with you one two and the third one we will start it with the mint finish it with the white like that and just make sure that the you know you're doing it correctly if the loop lines up with the pillar and as you can see it's overlapping the triangles okay so our next triangle will be this one here skip this one and this one here and this is what it looks like okay so that's the pattern all the way around I will meet you at the end of this round so just to make sure that you're doing it correctly we have one, two, three mint single crochets here. We have our white single crochet here, and then three mint single crochets again. And then our white one, three, white. Just like here, three, white, three, white, three, white will be the next one. So that's how you know you're doing it correctly, okay? So here we are at the end of round 31. I have my first leg finished, and I have to do my second leg here to connect it. So to do my second leg, so the first leg is like normal. We're going to skip this one here, this first single crochet, and work in the second one for our second and final leg. So we're going to yarn over three times. We're going to do the leg underneath the first one. So here's our triangle. Go underneath the triangle, the first triangle. So we will go underneath the first leg and underneath and around the leg that we want. Pull the loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on hook, take your mint, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and this creates our final triangle. Okay, our front leg, our first leg, and our second leg. After we do our triangle, we will do one single crochet, one single crochet, and then we will do a slip stitch into the next single crochet. So instead of doing three single crochet, we're doing one single crochet and a slip stitch into the second single crochet. And so you should have one, two, mint, and a white left over, okay? Now for round 32. For round 32, we're going to begin with a chain one, 
and we are going to do a single crochet into the same stitch that we just did our slip stitch into the beginning one there like that now we have two mint we're going to do one single crochet in the next single crochet one single crochet in the next single crochet and in the second single crochet we will start it in the mint and finish it in the white so I did yarn over pull through I have two mint on my hook yarn over pull through two with the white to change our color and now we are here on top of the white on top of here we're going to do a single crochet so the whites are all the tops of the triangle so we're going to do a single crochet then we're going to chain three one two three after we do our chain three we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch but using the mint so the same single crochet at the top here we're going to slip stitch with the mint so insert your hook take your mint pull it through and then pull through the knot and that creates our slip stitch now we're going to single crochet into the next three single crochets so that we have three mint single crochet coming up so we're going to do one single crochet in each of those and at the same time we're going to bring our white yarn with us two and for the third one we're going to start it in the mint yarn over pull through we have two mint loops on our hook take your white and complete the single crochet yarn over pull through two like that so now we are at the top of our triangle in this stitch here we're going to do a single crochet followed by chain three and then a slip stitch back into the same stitch at the top of the triangle and we're going to slip stitch with the with the mint like that then we're going to do our three single crochet in the mints one two and the third one we're going to start it in the mint two loops on hook and then finish it with the white yarn over pull through two and then we're back here on top of the next triangle so that's going to be the pattern all the way around on top of the triangle we're going to do a single crochet chain three and the slip stitch all into the same stitch here then we're going to do one two three one single crochet in the next three stitches in the mint and then we are back here on the top of the next triangle okay and it's going to look like this at the end lump one two three lump one two three lump one two three okay so that's the pattern all the way around i'll meet you at the end of this round here i am at the end of round 32 i've done my last lump and i have to connect it to the beginning so we have one, two, three single crochet here. In the first single crochet, I'm going to do a slip stitch. And that. So this is what my piece looks like at the end of the round. So for round 33, our final round, we are going to begin with a slip stitch in the next single crochet. So the next single crochet is the middle one. So we have one, two, three single crochet. The next one is the second one in the middle. We're going to do a slip stitch into there, and I'm going to do it with my white. So insert your hook, take your white, complete a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Do a slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. One, two, three, so the middle one here. That's the third chain from the hook. We're going to do a slip stitch into there. And we're going to chain two, one, two, so it looks like that. And then we're going to do it, skip the next single crochet, skip the lump, skip the next single crochet, and then in the next single crochet, which is the second one of the three, so one, two, three, the middle one here, the second one, we're just going to do a slip stitch. Okay, and then we're going to repeat, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, slip stitch into the third chain from the hook chain two, one, two, so we've created that. Now skip the next single crochet, skip the lump, skip the next single crochet, and do a slip stitch into the next one. So the second one of the three single crochet in the middle here, a slip stitch. And then, and then same thing, chain five, 
and repeat. So that's what we're doing all the way around. We're creating these spaces on top of the lumps here and we're going to do them in each of the second single crochets of the three. So one, two, three, the second one. One, two, three, the second one. Okay, that's what we're going to do all the way around. So I will meet you at the end of this round. At this point as well, we are finished with our mint color. We can cut it and tie it in. We're just going to use the white. So here we are at the end of this round. To finish it off, I've done my last chain space here, and then I'm going to connect it to the beginning and join with a slip stitch. Like that. Okay. So at the end, this is what our piece will look like. So now we're going to begin blocking it. To block it, I'm going to pin it, just use some pins and pin it to a piece of cardboard, and then I'm going to take my iron and steam it. And what that's going to do is loosen up all the fibers to get it to the shape that you want it to be, okay? So here we are after I blocked it. As you can see, it got stretched out and relaxed a lot more. On the back here, I decided to use some super glue and just glue in the loose ends here that tended to peek out in the holes at the front here, just so that we don't see any of the ends within the back here. Okay, so I just glued it there. Same for the bigger strawberries as well, just at the tops here, my ends tended to poke out, so I just glued it over with some super glue. Okay, so that's my piece. That's what it looks like. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out my other videos on my channel and subscribe for more videos.